ASI Air comes in two varieties. There's the ASI Air Plus and the ASI Air Mini. The main difference between the two is just a little bit of hardware. The Mini comes with two 12 volt outputs where the Plus comes with four. The Mini has 32 gigabytes of internal storage. The Plus has 256 gigabytes. You can use one of the four USB ports on it to expand that storage with a USB stick. Other than that, the only difference between the two is that the Plus comes with a physical on off switch, whereas the Mini just turns on whenever you connect power to it. Both of the variants come with four USB ports that you can use to connect up to various accessories. That could be cameras, mount, filter wheels, rotators, guide cameras. If you run out of USB ports, it does support by just using a small unpowered USB hub as well. On one end, you will find the 12 volt input. This is a 5x5 millimeter by 2.1 millimeter. On the side, you will find a 12 volt output port. But this is where if you want to power, let's say, a do heater, or if you have a cooled camera and you need to supply power to it, you can supply power through these ports. You'll also find a DSLR port. If you're using a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, as your camera for astrophotography with the ASI Air. Some cameras will be compatible with it just by connecting straight over USB. Go to ASI's homepage and check the compatibility list. But if your camera is not supported, don't worry, you can use this DSLR port just to connect a mini jack between the that port and the camera's remote shutter release port. This allows you to just send pulses to the camera through that port, even if it's not supported to connect over USB. If you're using this port, of course, it does mean that you're gonna have to set all the settings on your camera and not inside the SIR software, as you could if you were connecting it over USB. 